Welcome back to Linux Network. The latest release of Rhino Linux, the 2025.1 version of this distribution, brings with it a ton of updates, new features and improvements. Whether you're a long-time Linux user or someone just getting started, there is something here for everyone. So, let's break it down. Before diving into the updates, here's some exciting news. Rhino Linux will be at FOSDEM 2025, one of the biggest events for open source software. The Rhino dev team will give a talk about history, development and future of Rhino Linux and Paxtal, their unique package manager. The talk is scheduled for Sunday, February the 2nd, 2025 at 2.30pm UTC. After the talk, they'll also share a blog post summarizing everything they discussed. Now, let's jump into what's new in Rhino Linux 2025.1. If you're already using Rhino Linux, upgrading is super easy. Just open a terminal and run the following command. That's it. The system will take care of the rest and you'll have the latest and greatest version of Rhino Linux. One of the coolest new features is the Hello Rhino app. This is a brand new welcome screen designed to make it easier for you to get started with Rhino Linux. When you install or update to the 2025.1 version, Hello Rhino will automatically pop up to help guide you. Here is what it does. It provides quick access to Rhino Linux homepage, blog, documentation and Discord community. The app is designed to be easy to use, even if you're new to Linux. If you've used the Unicorn desktop environment before, you'll love this improvement. Rhino Linux now supports dynamic workspaces, which make multitasking much smoother. Here is how it works. Previously, you had a fixed number of workspaces or virtual desktops and you had to manage them manually. Now, the system creates a new workspace automatically when all the current ones are in use. If a workspace is empty, it will disappear. This feature is inspired by GNOME, another popular desktop environment, and it makes it easier to stay organized without having to think about managing your workspaces. The Grab Bootloader, this is the screen you see when your computer starts up, now has a custom theme designed specifically for Rhino Linux. While this may seem like a small change, it adds a polished and modern touch right from the moment you boot your system. Everything now feels more cohesive with the unicorn aesthetic. Rhino Stampede is a new testing meta package that lets you try out experimental features before they're officially released. It's perfect for users who like living on the cutting edge and want to help test new features. You can use the following command line to install it. What's included? Right now it features Unicorns, a work in progress icon team designed to give Rhino Linux a unique and modern look. More features will be added in the future, so stay tuned for that. Paxtal, the package manager that makes Rhino Linux unique, has received several major updates. Let's break them down. You can now use Paxtal in your native language. Some big changes were made to make Paxtal packages more standardized. For example, a new extract-2 syntax was added for downloading and extracting files. Packages must now include an Arch array which specifies which computer architectures they support. The chaotic Paxtal pre-build repository was also launched. This lets you install pre-built Paxtal packages without having to compile them yourself, saving time and effort. A new debug flag makes it easier to develop and troubleshoot Paxtal packages. This is especially useful for developers. The chaotic PPR system automatically builds and uploads Paxtal packages to an APT repository. If you don't want to wait for packages to compile, you can use this feature to install pre-built versions. Rhino Linux 2025.1 comes with updated Linux kernel for different devices. For the generic ISO, the kernel version is 6.12.3. For Pine64 devices, kernel 6.9.0 OakPine. And for Raspberry Pi devices, kernel 6.11.0 Raspi. These updates bring better performance, compatibility and security to your system. The team has also fixed some issues and made additional improvements. The install Rhino Linux icon now properly shows up on the live desktop environment. 
the Unicorn Desktop Git package now uses architecture-specific builds, making it more efficient. The Core Tile Auto Tiling Manager is now handled through Paxtal, so updates will be smoother. This update isn't just about adding new features, it's about making Rhino Linux better for everyone. Whether you're a casual user, a developer, or a Linux enthusiast, there's a lot to love here. The Hello Rhino app makes it easier for beginners to get started. Dynamic workspaces improve productivity for power users. The new Grab Team and Unicorn's Icon Team give the system a more cohesive and modern look. Paxtal's update make package management more powerful and user-friendly. And with the introduction of Rhino Stampede, you can help shape the future of the distro by testing new features before they're fully released. If you're excited about these changes, now's a great time to get involved with the Rhino Linux community. Here is how. Join the Discord community to ask questions, share feedback and connect with other users. Watch the FOSDEM 2025 livestream talk or read the blog post afterward. Help test new features and provide feedback to the developers. Rhino Linux 2025.1 is shaping up to be an incredible release that sets the stage for an amazing year ahead. Whether it's the new features, the polished look or the improvements under the hood, there's a lot to be excited about. So, go ahead and upgrade to 2025.1, explore the new features and join the community to be a part of Rhino Linux journey. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.